Tennessee, the Volunteer State, where these fans are going wild for the start of this game. And it is perfect football weather here for today's matchup between the Florida Gators and the Volunteers of Tennessee. Here come the Volunteers. Brad Nessler here with the coach Lee Corso and the quarterback Kirk Herbstreit and hold on to your seats because we've got an incredible matchup coming your way early in this college football season. If you compare these teams on paper they really look to be pretty equal. Kirk what do you think. Well this one's going to come down to whoever can make the big play. Florida has a sensational quarterback on their side who's a true leader. I think his presence on the field gives them a slight advantage and Lee I think that's going to be the difference in an extremely close game. I can tell you one thing I know about this game. Florida has a coach that likes to throw the football. If they can, like you said, protect the quarterback, watch out. They may rack up 400 yards passing in this one. Thanks, guys. Let's head down to the field. The two teams are lined up for the coin toss. Tennessee is ready to open this one up as they line up for the opening kick. Nice kick, plenty of distance. Number one fields it in the end zone. There's a flag down. Flipping, Flipping. on the receiving, on the receiving team. team. After this to the spot, first down. First down. They'll start this drive at the 11. Number five lines up as a single back. Hand off up the middle. They'll bring him down at the 12 yard line. Pickup of less than a yard on the play. Second and nine, ball on their own 12. The Volunteers come out in a 34 defense. Number eight gives it up the middle. And he's tackled at the 19 yard line. A seven yard run by the running back. Third and two, ball on their own 19. Tennessee lines up defensively in a 3-4. Number 33 takes the handoff. Number six brings him down at the 24-yard line. Whew, that time the offensive line came off the ball and kept their feet moving. Good blocks and good running by the ball carrier also. It's first and 10, ball on the 24-yard line. Florida in a four-wide set. Hand off up the middle, and they got him for a loss. Good job there by the defense. They brought the blitz that time and made it difficult for the linemen up front to pick everybody up. It's second down and 11 to go. Fifth play of this drive coming up. Number eight has five receivers lined up here. Drops back to pass. He lets it go. Number 23 hangs on to it. He didn't have much of a chance on that play. Boy, this defense has a lot of speed. They're all over him by the time he caught the ball. It's third down and eight to go. Sixth play of this drive coming up. Florida sets up with four receivers. Looking, he fires right. Number 11 has it. He's at the 40. And they make the stop at the 35-yard line. Oh, my. What do you think of that one, Kirk? Boy, I'll tell you what. The quarterback delivered a perfect pass on that play and gave them more than enough for the first down. 
It's first and ten. Seventh play of this drive coming up. Tennessee lines up defensively in a 4-3. He rifles it to the left. Incomplete pass. And he misses his wide receiver there. Yeah, you're right. This is an area that he's worked so hard to improve since day one. The accuracy of his throws. He's improved, but as you can see, he's upset here with himself. So it's second and ten. Eighth play of this drive coming up. Ace backfield. Back to pass. He fires left side. And it's caught. And he's taken down at the 14-yard line. A nice pass play there. Let me tell you, the reason why this play worked was the fact that the defense didn't do a good job of knocking the wide receiver off his route. You got to jam him at the line and throw their timing off. First and 10, ball on the 14-yard line. The Volunteer. Line up in a 4-3. There's the play fake. Let's it fly. Touchdown, Gator. And did that play ever develop nicely? Well, it's all about the receiver on this play. He beat his man off the line and then ran a perfect route. All he had to do after that was make the catch. And he tacks on the extra point. With under five minutes remaining in the first quarter of play, the score, Florida, seven, Tennessee, nothing. Florida to kick this one off. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. Number 26 fields it in the end zone. They'll go to work at the 28 yard line. The Gators line up in a nickel back. He drops back, steps up, he passes it. Complete, they'll bring him down at the 46 yard line. The wideout comes up with a spectacular play. Yeah, and if I'm the coach, I put a big circle around that play so I can remember to call that one again. Good call. It's first and 10, ball on the 46. Tennessee lines up with three receivers. He's hit and got away. Number 59 with a takedown at the 40-yard line. That's a nice six-yard gain. Second and four, ball on the 40. Tennessee lines up in a shotgun set. Back to pass. He's in trouble. Rifles this one out to the left. Number 15 with a catch. Tackle at the five. And he hauled that one in for a first down. Well, that's a big time play. Did an excellent job there of getting separation from the defender, and he's able to pull down that pass for quite a few yards. Let's have another look at that pass, guys. Well, Brad here is just a great throw by the quarterback. He does a great job of getting the ball to the receiver quickly. Therefore, the defense doesn't have enough time to break on the ball. Florida lines up with five defensive backs. Number seven steps back to pass. He guns it to the left. That was quite a play as he found his wide receiver for the touchdown.
And he hits the PAT with about three minutes of play remaining here in the first quarter. Our score, Tennessee, seven, Florida, seven. They'll take over at the 20. Florida in a five wide set. Drop back to pass. He steps up. And it's caught. And he's taken down at the 31 yard line. And Herbie, that was a good looking throw. Yeah, and what impresses me is the composure of this young quarterback. He made a great read, saw the open receiver, and delivered an almost perfect strike. Good looking play. It's first and 10. Ball on the 31 yard line. The volunteer come out in a 34 defense. He drops back, throws it out there, and it falls incomplete. The wide receiver couldn't catch up to that ball. And you know what? No one could have caught up to that one. He just misfired it. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 31. Tennessee lines up in a dime defense here. Looks, lets it go. And it's knocked away. And the safety got a hand on it that time. Third down and 10 coming up. Ball on the 31 yard line. Florida comes out in the shotgun. Back to pass. He's looking for his man. Complete. Brought down at the 43. They pick up solid yardage there. Yeah, nice little pitch and catch there. The wideout was able to find a little open space in the defense, and the quarterback was able to get him the ball for a good pickup. It's first and ten. Fifth play of this drive coming up. They line up in the shotgun. Drops back to pass. Fires a bullet over the middle. And it's incomplete. How about that? He's got to come up with that catch here. Yeah, you're right, Coach. This is a catch that has to be made. There's really no excuse for dropping that ball. So it's second and ten. This is the sixth play of this drive. The Volunteer line up in a 3-4. Number eight, drops back to pass. He's looking. He unloads it. And it's caught. Number three brings him down at the 29-yard line. And that's the way you're supposed to play pitch and catch. Absolutely. You know, this wide receiver is a difference maker. He's one of those players that has a chance to go the distance every time you get him the ball. It's first and ten. This is the seventh play of this drive. Trips right. He drops back. He throws it. Number six makes the catch. Number 33 with a takedown at the 15-yard line. Not a bad play there. Not at all. And if this wideout can continue to make plays like this, allowing them to spread the ball around, this offense is going to be tough to stop. First and ten. We'll see what they can do in the red zone. Number eight comes to the line with three wide. Number eight, back to pass. He lets it go. And it's complete for the touchdown. And the wideout hauled it in for the score. Boy, the quarterback really put that one on the money, didn't he? Another look at that touchdown, Kirk. Well, Brad, here the quarterback does a good job of finding enough time for the receiver to get open. And he hits him perfectly in the end zone for the score.
And he tacks on the extra point. With just over a minute to go in the first quarter, the score is Florida 14, Tennessee 7. Florida to kick this one off. Kicks it off. Number 26 takes it at the eight. And pass the tackler. They'll get the ball here at the 35 yard line. Tennessee lines up with three receivers. Back to pass. Looking. He's rolling left. He guns it to the right. And it's knocked down. That one could have been an interception. Second and ten. Ball on the 35-yard line. The Volunteers set up in the gun. Number seven hands off on the delay. Tackle at the 38-yard line. That'll be a gain of three yards. Third down and seven. Ball on their own 38. The Volunteers line up with four wideouts. Drops back to pass. Number 16 recovers a loose ball. And so they lose possession on the fumble. I hate to see that, but I'm sure the quarterback will have a reason for that last fumble. And I'm also sure that that coach doesn't want to hear it. First and ten. Ball on the 33. Number eight is back in the gun. Number eight on the option left side. And now he pitches it. And he's tackled at the 26. He takes the handoff and responds with a seven-yard gain. Second and three coming up, all on the 26-yard line. The Gators line up with two tight ends. Number eight, back to throw. Looks. Steps up in the pocket. Number 11, drops it. That looked like a pretty good pass. Yeah, it was, and it was a catchable ball. Thrown right at him. He just didn't catch it. Third down and three coming up. Ball on the 26. 4-3 defense. He drops back. He's looking. He's scrambling. He goes downtown. Brings it in. Touchdown. And for the third time in this first half, they've managed to find the end zone through the air. When this quarterback gets in rhythm, watch out. This could be ugly. And he hits the PAT. And we've come to the end of the first quarter with the score, Florida 21, Tennessee 7. We are ready to start quarter number two. Florida is ready to kick it away. Kicks it off. Number 20 fields at the goal line. Can't have him up. 
There's a flag on the play. We've got an inverted in race mask, mask on the defense. On the defense. Five yard penalty, first, first down. down. They'll start this drive at the 31-yard line. The Gators put four men up front. Here's a pitch, what side? And they hit him in the backfield. Give this linebacker a big play in that stat column for an excellent tackle there. It's second down, 15 to go. Ball on the 26-yard line. Florida lines up defensively in a 3-4. Back to pass. Let's it fly. Complete. Number 25 brings him down at the 39-yard line. And a nice pass to the tight end. Yeah, this is what I like. Move the ball down the field. Use that nice and steady intermediate passing game. Third and two. Ball on their own 39. High formation here. They'll run the option. Fakes it. He laterals the ball. They'll bring him down at the 40-yard line. They try to play a little power football there. Yeah, but they got outpowered. It's fourth down, a yard to go. Ball on their own 40. It's fourth down, and the punt team lines up. Number one, fields it at the 22. Came away with a nice return there, Lee Corso. Whoa, Nelly. That was almost a big one, my friend. They'll go to work at the 32. The Volunteers come out in a 34 defense. They'll run the option. He's to the 40, sheds that one. Number two with a takedown at the 43. And so the fullback gets a nice gain on the option there. They're using everyone. Well, the thing about the option is a defense, you have to account for everybody. Here, the offense gives it to the fullback, and he picks up the first down on a huge gain. It's first and 10, ball on the 43. Number five, alone in the backfield. Up the middle. There's a stiff arm. There's a missed tackle. Number two brings him down at the 49 yard line. That's a gain of eight. Second and two coming up here. Ball right around midfield. Number eight comes to the line with three wide. Five on the inside handoff, number two with a takedown at the 46. The back gets three on the carry. It's first and ten, ball on the 46. Florida in a five wide set. Number eight drops back. He passes it. Number six, hangs on to it. And a nice catch by the wideout that time. 13-yard gain on the play. First and 10, ball on the 33. They line up in the shotgun. Number eight on the option, takes the pitch. He hit and got away. Number 14 brings him down at the 31-yard line. And they get a few yards on the halfback option.
It's second down and eight to go. Sixth play of this drive coming up. Number eight lines up with five wide out. Number eight drops the throw. He rifles it to the left. And it falls incomplete. How about that? He's got to come up with that catch here. Yeah, you're right, Coach. This is a catch that has to be made. There's really no excuse for dropping that ball. It's third down and eight to go. Seventh play of this drive coming up. Florida lines up in a shotgun set. Drops back to pass. Steps up. Throws it out there. Fellas, he's really out to an outstanding start in this football game. Hey, if he continues at this pace, he may throw for 500 yards. I'll tell you what, this guy is so much fun to watch when he gets into a rhythm like this. First and ten, ball on the 14-yard line. Three wideouts here. Gets the ball. No, they faked it. Let's it go. And it's caught. Good yardage that time on the pass. The thing that makes this play work is the quarterback. He throws this thing right in there. What an arm this quarterback's got. Going with the shotgun here. He's looking for his man. Makes a catch in the end zone. Touchdown. He grabbed that one for his second touchdown of the half. And that second touchdown pass was just as pretty as the first one. This guy's good. And he tacks on the extra point. Over three minutes remain in the second quarter, and the score is Florida 28, Tennessee 7. Florida to kick this one off. Number 26 and number 20 back to return. Here's the kick. Number 26 takes it from the six. They'll take over at the 26. Florida comes out in a 4-3. Back to pass. Here comes the pressure. Complete. Number 26 with a takedown at the 30. A pickup of four on the play. It's second down and six to go. Ball on the 30. The Gators line up in a 3-4. Play action. Rifles it right side. Sheds a tackler. And they make the stop at the 39-yard line. And a big catch by the tight end. Yeah, that was big. And I'll tell you what, that tight end can really move. It's first and 10. Ball on the 39-yard line. The Volunteers come out showing three wide. Pitch left. Number 42 tackles him for a loss on the play. Loss of about two. Second and 12 coming up here. Ball on the 41. Tennessee comes to the line. Only one man in the backfield. Number 59 brings him down for a loss. It's a nice job by this defense. They were not fooled at all in this draw play. You're right. They were all over that play. It's third down and 14 to go. Ball on the 43-yard line. 
The Volunteers come out in the ace formation. Rolls right. He gets rid of this one. They got some good pressure on him there. Yeah, but don't forget the fact that nobody was open. That was good coverage, too. Fourth and 14 coming up. Ball on the 43-yard line. Number one, the return man. Number one, signals for a fair catch. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. They'll get the ball here at the 20-yard line. Tennessee comes out in a 3-4. Number eight gives up the middle. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. The Gators are going to take a timeout, and they'll have two remaining. Second and 11 coming up. Ball on the 19. The Volunteer bring in the nickel package. Drop back to pass. Looking. Throws it deep downfield. Swatted away. Great defensive effort that time. Did you see how that safety played that ball? That was a beautiful play. Third and 11 coming up here. Ball on their own 19. Tennessee brings in the nickel here. Little handoff. Spin move. Number 16 brings him down at the 32. And he just made it past the first down line. Boy, big play there, Brad, on third down. Good job of running the football there. Kirk, of course it always helps, doesn't it, if you got some good blocking up front? First and 10, ball on the 32-yard line. Number eight has five receivers lined up here. He drops back. And they couldn't hook up on that one. Number two, the intended receiver on the play. A minute left in the half. High formation here. Back to pass. He unloads it. Incomplete pass. I think he heard footsteps that time, guys. He must have heard something because he just flat out dropped that ball. It's third down and 10. This is the sixth play of this drive. Number eight lines up with five wide out. Drops back to pass. Looks. He throws it. Number 33. Picks it off. And they badly needed that interception. It's sure going to help. If they can march down the field and score, watch out. We might have a game here. First and 10, ball on the 34-yard line. Number seven, lines up in the shotgun. Number seven, running the option. Number 59, tackles him for a loss on the play. The offense calls a timeout, and they've got two remaining. It's second down and 12 to go. Ball on the 36-yard line. They'll use a 4-4 defense here. Put hot, put, put hot. He drops back. He lets it go. Off his hands, incomplete. He had it, but he couldn't hang on to it. You know, there's really no excuse for that either. He needs to make that catch, Coach. I agree 100% with you. Third down and 12 to go. Ball on the 36-yard line. Number seven comes to the line with three wide. Back to pass. He's looking. Rifles it over the middle. Number 21 has it. 
Tennessee takes a timeout, and now they've only got one remaining. They line up in the jumbo set. On the ground, up the middle. Tackle at the three. The halfback picks up a yard. And they hurry up to the line. You're right. Sometimes you can catch the defense napping a little bit. Number seven drops back to pass. Let's it fly. Well, he was looking to the end zone on that one. I'll tell you what. The defense was not about to let him score there. They're crowding the line. Set. Counter right. And he's got the touchdown. He followed his blocks and rammed his way into the end zone. Yeah, the back needs to give credit to that offensive line for that one. They created the space for him to run through. Let's look at that one again. And he hits the PAT. Down to just a few seconds left here before the half. And our score, Tennessee, 14, Florida, 28. Tennessee is ready to kick it away. Kicks it off. Number 11 fields it in the end zone. Kickoff return 22 yards. Number 11 on the return. They'll start this drive at the 22-yard line. The Gator come out showing three wide. Fires a bullet out to the right, and it's caught. And they push him out at the 21. He got up in the air and made the catch. Well, that's all about timing, too, because if he jumped too early, he wouldn't have been able to catch that ball. Second and 11 coming up. Ball on the 21. Defense lines up in a 4-3. On the ground, up the middle. Missed tackle. And he's taken down at the 27-yard line. The fullback bangs it in there for a gain of six. And we've reached halftime here. The score at the break, Florida 28, Tennessee 14. Second half just about set to get underway as the teams line up for the kick. He kicks it. Number 26 fields it at the three. They'll go to work at the 22-yard line. The Gators line up in a nickelback. Makes a move. To the 40. Crosses midfield. The 40. He stiff arms. How about that call? Sometimes this is not a good call against an aggressive defense because the draw takes some time to develop. Here they were able to catch the defense off guard a little, and the result, you got it. A huge game. Yeah, nice call, but how about the play of this halfback? This kid is an incredible athlete. Number seven with three wide receivers. Drops back to pass. He passes it. And that one's fallen incomplete. Number 26, the intended 
with the receiver on the play. It's second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 34-yard line. Tennessee comes out with an eye formation. He drops back. Throws it out there. Number 80 with a catch. He jumped up and snagged that ball. Well, the quarterback threw the ball too high. Credit his receiver for going up to make the play. It's third down and eight to go. Ball on the 32. They come out with three wide receivers. Number seven steps back to pass. He fires right. Number 21 makes a catch. Touchdown. Holding on the offense. Third and long, ball on the 42. Tennessee lines up in a shotgun set. Back to pass. Looking. Going deep. Complete. And he's tackled at the 13-yard line. And they convert the third down with a long pass play. You're right, Brad. And that was a long pass play. As a coach, you got to appreciate it when your players come out and perform like these kids are doing right now. It's first and 10. Ball on the 13-yard line. Tennessee comes to the line, only one man in the backfield. Hot. Hot, hot. Hot. Drops back to pass. Number seven is going to be sacked for a loss. He went down hard there, coach. Yeah, they're putting a licking on that poor kid. Second and 13 coming up here. Sixth play of this drive coming up. The Volunteers. Go with the I formation. They'll run the option. Number 43 brings him down for a loss. That's a loss of about three. Third and long. This is the seventh play of this drive. Number seven with four wide receivers. He drops back. Let's it go. And it falls incomplete. Couldn't find his man in the end zone there. You know, as a quarterback, I can tell you that the defense is always tougher down in the end zone. Fourth and a bunch coming up here. Ball on the 19-yard line. Number 19 is lined up for the kick. The kick is up, and it's good. Tennessee, ready to kick this one off. Kicks it deep. Number one, fields it in the end zone. Kickoff kick return, return, 20 yards. 20 yards. Number, Number one, one on the on return. The return. <laughs> They'll take over at the 20 yard line. Nickel defense. Number 37 brings him down for a loss, and the linebacker was able to wrap him up in the backfield. Go. 
It's second down now, 14 to go. Ball on their own 16. Number five lines up as a single back. Number five gets the carry. Brought down at the 22-yard line. They pick up a good six yards there. Third and eight. Ball on the 22-yard line. Three wideouts to the right side. Back to pass. He's under pressure. He's looking for his man. And it's caught. Number three with a takedown at the 34-yard line. Wow, how about that third down conversion? Boy, what a play here, guys. I'm really impressed with the poise of this young quarterback. He was very cool and collected out there on that third and long play. It's first and 10. Ball on the 34-yard line. Florida in a four-wide set. Number eight, back to pass. He steps up. He guns it to the right. And they make the stop at the 44. And that reception put him over 100 yards on the day. Well, this guy is such a big part of this offense. If he doesn't get his numbers, they usually don't have much success moving the football. And that's why he's so valuable to this football team, Kirk. He's a big-time college football player. First and ten. This is the fifth play of this drive. The Volunteers line up in a 4-3. Number five gets the call. Number 50 brings him down for a loss. He was stopped in his tracks on that one. Oh, yeah, and that's because of the nice pursuit by the defense there. It's second down and 10 to go. Sixth play of this drive coming up. Florida comes to the line with three wide. Rifles it right side, complete. He's knocked out of bounds at the 27. That one was nearly overthrown. Boy, the receiver makes a great play by putting his hands up. He had enough vertical leap to get his hands on it. That play deserves another look, guys. Well, this is a great fake right here. Really makes the defense bite up. Anytime you get a good fake like that and the pocket holds, you're going to be able to come up with a big gain like they did right here. It's first and ten. Seventh play of this drive coming up. Florida lines up with three receivers. Drops back to pass. Steps up in the pocket. Heaves a long one down the middle. Couldn't haul it in. Well, he was looking to the end zone on that one. I'll tell you what. The defense was not about to let him score there. It's second down and 10 to go. This is the eighth play of this drive. Florida comes to the line with three wide. He drops back. He lobs it left. It falls incomplete. It's third down and 10. This is the ninth play of this drive. Florida in a five wide set. Looks, he unloads it, and it's caught. Number 14 brings him down at the five yard line. And they get the first down, that is unbelievable. Wow, Kirk, this quarterback's showing some big time nerves out there. Third and long, it's just like first and 10 to this guy. Yeah, you're right, a lot of poise from this young man. Florida comes out with an eye formation. Back to pass. 
He throws it. Touchdown, Gators. There it is, guys. That is touchdown pass number five. Boy, oh boy. The quarterback has been picking this defense apart all game long. Yeah, and that poor defensive coordinator, he can't be happy with the performance of this squad. And he tacks on the extra point. So under three minutes to go in the third quarter. And the score, Florida 35, Tennessee 17. Florida lines up for the kickoff. Kicks it off. Number 26 takes it from the six. First and ten, ball on their own 26. Number seven lines up in the shotgun. And he's tackled at the 28. Two yard carry by the fullback. It's second down and eight to go. Ball on their own 28. Number 21 alone in the backfield. Number 21 gets a toss. He's to the 40. Out of bounds at the 49. A big gain for the halfback. You know, when we talked to the coach yesterday, he said they were going to run it over, up, and around this defense. Well, here they got a nice gain on the old toss play. It's first and 10. Ball right around midfield. Three-man front defensively. On the ground, up the middle. And he's going to lose yards on this one. Well, the offensive line needs to do a better job up front of opening the hole for the running back. Second and 11. Ball on their own 48. The Gators come out in a 34 defense. Number 42 tackles him for a loss on the play. Great play by the big linebacker. I'll tell you what, Coach, it looked like he snuffed that one out from the beginning. You're right, Kirk. There wasn't much the ball carry could do in that situation. Third down and 12 to go. This is the fifth play of this drive. Four wide. Drops back to pass. He's looking. He lets it go deep down the middle. Complete. They'll bring him down at the 21. It's first and 10. Ball on the 21-yard line. Number 21 lines up as a single back. Number one with a takedown at the 18-yard line. And the halfback carries for a pickup of three. It's second down and seven to go. Ball on the 18. The Gators use a four-man front here. There's the play fake. He lets it go. They made a great connection there for the touchdown, didn't they, fellas? What a quarterback threw a strike to the wide receiver. He caught it, took it all away. What a dangerous combination. You can't say enough about how good that throw was. The quarterback put that one right on the line.
And he hits the PAT. Just a few seconds remaining now in the third quarter. And our score, Tennessee 24, Florida 35. Tennessee ready to pick this one off. Number 11 and number one back ready to return. Kicks it off. Number 11 fields it in the end zone. Nice pin move. Kickoff return, 19 yards. Number 11 on the return. They'll get the ball here at the 19-yard line. The Gators line up in an eye formation. Number eight drops back. Steps up, looking under heavy pressure. Let's it fly. Incomplete. What happened there, Kirk? Well, as a quarterback, you usually want to put the ball in front of the receiver so he can catch it in stride. Here he just put it a little bit too far in front. And we're ready for the start of the fourth quarter. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 19. The Volunteer come out into 34 defense. Number eight hands off on the delay. Number 41 brings him down at the 22-yard line. Three yards there on the play. It's third down and seven to go. Ball on the 22-yard line. Tennessee brings in their nickel package. Number eight, back to throw. He passes it, and it falls incomplete. That brings up the punting situation. I'll tell you what, this defense did a heck of a job that time to hold them to three and out. Fourth down now and seven yards to go. Ball on their own 22. They line up to punt this one away. Number 16 calls for the fair catch. He hauls it in at the 41-yard line. They'll start this drive at the 41. The Gators line up in a 4-3. Hand off up the middle. He jukes him. He tries to spin. And he's taken down at the 50. They'll get nine yards on the play. Second and one coming up here. Ball right around midfield. They come out with three wide receivers. Number seven drops to throw. Throws it out there. It's dropped. The wide receiver couldn't quite hang on to that. Third and one, ball on the 50. High formation here. And they make the stop at the 45-yard line. About five yards there on the fullback carry. It's first and 10, ball on the 45-yard line. Four-man front by the defense. Set. Cut. 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 Little handoff, tries to juke. They'll bring him down at the 44. The running back picks up a yard on the counter.
It's second down and nine to go. Ball on the 44. High formation here. Number seven gives it up the middle, and down he goes at the 43. That'll be a pickup of a yard. It's third down and eight to go. Sixth play of this drive coming up. Number 21, alone in the backfield. Let's it go. Swatted away. And they do a good job at swatting that one away. You're right, Brad. Excellent awareness by the defender to know where the football is and just get his hand on it. Fourth down, eight yards to go. Ball on the 43. Tennessee lines up in a shotgun set. Back to pass. He fires left side. Number 25. Bats it down. Not much of a chance on that one. Well, he had to go for it. We're at a point where there's not much time left, and you got to put it all on the line. They'll go to work at the 43-yard line. Florida comes out with five receivers. Number eight steps back to pass. Number 23 hangs on to it. They didn't get much on that pass. You know, this defense is too quick for plays like that to work. You got to mix them up a little. Second and seven. Ball on their own 46. The Volunteer bring in their dive package. He drops back. He steps up. He's looking for his man. Number six. Has it. Not a bad pickup that time. Yeah, but let me tell you the reason why this play worked. The defense came with pressure, but they couldn't quite get to the quarterback, and he made them pay right there. It's first and ten. Ball on the 40. One man back for you. Gets the ball. No, they faked it. He unloads it. There's a penalty on the play. Number 35 with a takedown at the 30-yard line. We've got an inverted in face mask, mask on the defense. On the defense. Five yard Five yard penalty. Penalty. First, first down. down. First and ten. Ball on the 25-yard line. The Gators come out in a two tight end set. Drive back to pass. He throws it. Incomplete pass. And that will stop the clock. Yeah, Brad, that doesn't make too much sense to me. You got the lead. Just run the football. Keep the clock running. Second and ten. Fifth play of this drive coming up. Florida lines up with three receivers. Back to pass. He lets it go. And it's caught. Number 35 tackles him for a loss on the play. Loss of about two. Third down and 12 to go. Sixth play of this drive coming up. Florida sets up with four receivers. Number eight drops back. He gives a pump fake. And it's knocked down. Coach, he made a nice defensive play there. He sure did. He just stuck his hand out and hit the football. Check out the replay on that one. It's fourth and 12 yards to go. They're in field goal range. It looks like they're going to try for the long field goal. It's up. And it hits the crossbar. No good.
They'll take over at the 27-yard line. The Gators bring in the nickel package. Number seven, back to throw. Let's it fly. And it falls incomplete. Man, he had to get rid of that ball in a hurry. You know, it seems like he's allowing the defense right now to control him by throwing bad passes under pressure. What he needs to do is make some plays and start controlling the defense instead. And second down and 10 to go. Ball on their own 27. Tennessee comes to the line. Only one man in the backfield. Back to pass. Fires across the middle. Incomplete. Incomplete pass. Number 81. The intended receiver on the play. Third down and 10 coming up. Ball on the 27 yard line. Nickel defense. Number seven drops back to pass. Looks under pressure. And they make the stop at the 32. They kept it on the ground, but it wasn't enough. You know, that's why I like to throw the ball in this situation. You wait till your receiver is past the line, then you throw it to him. Number seven drops to throw. Guns it across the middle. Complete. Number 22 brings him down at the 44-yard line. I like what the coach is doing here with this hurry-up offense. Watch for this young defense to get a little confused on this play. He drops back. He passes it, and it's caught. And he's tackled at the 46. He got up in the air and made the catch. Well, oh, that's all about timing, too, because if he jumped too early, he wouldn't have been able to catch that ball. Number seven, back to pass. Steps up in the pocket. He's looking. Throws it out there. Number 25 with a takedown at the 43. And that was a big pass play. And they'll go with a no huddle. Drops back to pass. Looking. Fires a bullet out to the right. And that one's fallen incomplete. How about that? He's got to come up with that catch here. Yeah, you're right, Coach. This is a catch that has to be made. There's really no excuse for dropping that ball. It's second down and 10 to go. This is the eighth play of this drive. Number 21 lines up in the deep back. Eye formation. Back to pass. Let's it go. And they couldn't hook up on that one. And he misses his wide receiver there. Yeah, you're right. This is an area that he's worked so hard to improve since day one. The accuracy of his throws. He's improved, but as you can see, he's upset here with himself. It's third down and 10. Ball on the 43-yard line. Tennessee comes out in the shotgun. He drops back. Looks. He's in trouble. He's looking deep down the left side. Complete. Number 26 brings him down at the 20-yard line. And with that catch, he goes over 100 yards receiving for the game. Drops back to pass. He's looking for his man. Number 86 with a catch. Brought down at the five. The wide receiver picks up good yardage that time. Number seven drops back. He unloads it. Incomplete pass. Couldn't find his man in the end zone there. You know, as a quarterback, I can tell you that the defense is always tougher down in the end zone. They're crowding that line of scrimmage. Cut, 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 cut. Back to pass. He throws it. Incomplete. That one was thrown in the direction of the tight end. And as a coach, you hate to see the perfect play call wasted because of poor execution. Here, the quarterback just overshot his target. Tennessee lines up in a shotgun set. He drops back. 
He's looking. Here comes the pressure. Rolls to the right. And he just gets rid of it. I think he was feeling a lot of pressure there, guys. Ha! <laughs> I'll tell you what. He's lucky he got rid of that ball when he did, because they were coming. Tennessee sets up in the eye, drops back a pass. He lets it go, and it falls incomplete. They turn the ball over after going for it on fourth down. Yeah, but they still made the right call. At this stage in the game, they'll try anything to get back in it. They'll get the ball here at the five. They come out in a goal line set. Stiff arm, and down he goes at the 18-yard line. The Volunteers call for a timeout, and that was their first timeout. First and ten, ball on their own 18. Tennessee lines up defensively in a 4-3. the middle he jukes tackle at the 18 yard line the volunteers are going to take a timeout and they'll have one timeout left and second down and 10 to go ball on the 18 they come out with four linebackers Five, gets it on the inside. He spins around to the 40. Juke move, and he's tackled at the 47-yard line. And he busted that one wide open. You know what? Great blocks up front. You're able to do that as a ball carry. I'll tell you what. I think the sunshine scooter, Lee Corso himself, could have picked up a couple yards on that one. Not so fast, my friend. First and 10. Ball on the 47. 4-3 defense. Gives it up the middle. Brought down at the 45. The Volunteers call for a timeout. And now they got no timeouts left. It's second down and eight. Ball on the 45-yard line. Tennessee comes out in a 4-3. On the handoff with a stiff arm. Inside the 30. Number 37 with a takedown at the 21. And with that carry, the running back just went over 100 yards on the day. Well, this kid's having a great game. He's been running left, right, and up the middle. Boy, I'll say, he's been giving the defense a hard time all game long. It's first and 10. Sixth play of this drive coming up. Four man front by the defense. Second down and 12. Ball on the 23-yard line. The Volunteer use a four-man front here. And that's pretty much going to do it. Any final thoughts on this one, Coach? Well, it was a pretty good game by both teams. But I was really impressed the way this game was won. Florida came out here very focused, and they took care of business. Nice, nice win for this football team. That concludes another game of NCAA Football 2003. And again, our final score, Florida 35, 
Tennessee 24. This is Brad Nessler for Lee Corso and Kirk Herbstreit saying so long.